okay dy by dx equals this now we have to find the general solution for this differential equation uh, that is we need to find an expression of y in terms of x uh, the question is simply asking if dy by dx equals this then what's y going to equal that's what we have to find out and in order to find y we need to first of all remove this d by dx here we need to remove the differentiation uh, symbol and the way of doing that is integrating here's why if we differentiate we get dy by dx so if we integrate this we will get y that's why integration is anti-differentiation but look here if we just take the differentiation uh, different if we just take the integration sign here and here can this be integrated not at all the integration of dy by dx not possible and integration of this not possible at all so first of all we need to simplify this we need to put all the y and dy on one side and we need to put all the x and dx on the other side take care that dy and dx must be in the numerators so let's bring this y here so it's going to be 1 by y to uh, 2 uh, it comes here dy dy and dx must be at the numerators because if they are at the denominator how the hell we, will we integrate them so this is 1 by 5 x sine a third x okay just x by 3 same thing and look dx so the first step put y and dy on one side put all the x and dx on the other side take care dy and dx must be on the in the numerators now let's just integrate tonak and tonak okay okay this term here is y to the power minus 1 by 2 what's the integration of this this is plus 1 divided by minus 1 by 2 plus 1 add 1 to the power and divide the denominator denominator by that so this is 1 minus 1 by 2 that's uh, 1 by 2 divided by 1 minus 1 by 2 so divided by 1 by 2 and that is 2 okay so 2y now what's this going to be look it consists of two functions so we need to uh, either simplify this and this cannot be simplified further and uh, either use integration by substitution or integration by parts and since this is in a uh, product form I'm just going to go ahead and use integration by parts remember that let's take two things okay one is u one is dy dv by dx this is one term this is another term and the integration of this is going to give you u times integration of dv by dx that's v minus integration of v du by dx okay and this is the formula don't worry this will be given in the uh, formula book now look let's make one x and the other dv by dx uh, remember this lat these are the orders in which the these two must be that is to say if we have a logarithmic this is logarithmic arithmetic trigonometric and exponential if we had logarithmic and arithmetic we need to make u the logarithmic and arithmetic dv by dx if we have logarithmic and exponential exponential will be this logarithmic will be this they must be in this order that is to say look so x sine so arithmetic and trigonometric arithmetic arithmetic must be the first one and trigonometric must be the second one now 
is the same so let's just arithmetic x and trigonometric is sine x by 3 now the constant 1 by 5 just pull that out we don't need it inside now this is going to be let's just use this formula uv what's u u is x what's v v is the integration of this so integration of sin x by 3 again remember that integration of sin x by 3 is another way of saying the differentiation of what will give sin x by 3 we know the differentiation of cos will give sine. so let's take uh, differentiation of cos x by 3 is going to give you minus uh, sine x by 3 into 1 by 3 that is 1 by 3 okay so differentiation of cos will give this look here in here we don't have the this term here minus 1 by 3 therefore if we make minus 3 cos x, x by, cos x by 3 let's differentiate this what do we get we get minus 3 into minus 1 by 3 sin x3 therefore the differentiation of this will give sin x by 3 and this is the integration of sin x by 3 but differentiation of what will give sin x by 3 this therefore this is minus 3 cos x by 3 x by 3 okay minus v what's v v is same thing minus 3 minus 3 I'm going to put the minus out so minus into minus 3 you get plus 3 cos x3 into du by dx what's u u is x and it's what 1 so this is going to equal minus 3x cos x by 3 plus 3 times what's the integration of cos x by 3 the differentiation of sin x by 3 is 1 by 3 cos x by 3 but no 3 here so if you put 3 3 by 3 cancel so the differentiation of sin x uh, sin 3 sin x by 3 is cos x by 3 therefore 3 times 3 9 sin x by 3 and this is taking long uh, remember there's 1 by 5 outside and I'm going to take the 1 by 5 and multiply it here so this will be 10 y 1 by 2 and write this down here we get so we get just I put the what we had obtained here and since there are no uh, limits don't forget to put the constant now 10 y by 2 equals this again I'll copy this down now all that is left find what is y yeah so let's isolate y so y is going to be divide 10 on both sides we get divide by 10 on both sides we get okay 10 y equals this now dividing by 10 on both sides so we can isolate y so y 1 by 2 equals this and the question says if dy by dx equals this what's y going to equal so if y by 1 by y to the power 1 by 2 is this then what's y going to equal y is obviously going to be all squared so squaring both sides uh, okay squared therefore y is equal to this term therefore y equals this now you could uh, do one thing c is a constant 10 is a constant so c by 10 is also a constant so instead of c by 10 you could write k therefore y would equal this plus this plus k all squared okay thank you